All right, 15 minutes of practice, day five for the clarinet. Um, so I am still working on the same page in root bank intermediate. Um, I haven't really decided what I'm going to do today. I mean, with that page. I think maybe I'll just go on to the next technical etude, which is number four. Um, and we'll see how that goes and whether I do some tuning work on it or just, just finger work. Um, so we'll see what happens. All right. Ooh, here we go. Oh, that's so funny. I usually try to get things out of the picture, but my Barry Sachs case has fallen over. <laughs> so there it is. All right. This is where I need to think about my B and my C-sharp fingerings. So they have wanted me to be using right hand C-sharp and left hand B. Oh, I'm tired. Okay, here we go. Okay. is exactly like the one that I played the other day um, except down an octave so it's going all across the break um, so yeah so the challenge there is uh, making that sound smooth um, I am leaving my right hand fingers down where possible but I have to think really hard about it so it's a good thing all right here we go <laughs> This is one to use a metronome on, uh, just to see how I'm doing. Um, so, all right, metronome. Oh. Which is right in my dock because I'm a giant music dork. <laughs> um, all right, so I had actually gotten the other one the, the top one up to 75, which I'm not anywhere close to at this point. So, um, do, do, do. <laughs> About half that. I'm at like 36. That's okay. Got to start somewhere. All right. So here we go. See if I can do the whole thing at 36.
I think I'm going for the B, but then my fingers do something else. It's kind of like a weird brain fart thing that's happening. Um, but as I was playing this, I realized that I'm rushing a lot. Um, and it's not because I know it well, it's just because I don't have the control over my fingers. And this is where my students would be like, I can play it faster. No, really, I can play it faster. It's like, well, no, you can't. <laughs> um, uh, if you really have something down, you can play it at absolutely any speed even something that's really slow. So this is telling me that my fingers aren't under control, therefore I need to continue doing it at 36. I'm not going to make the metronome go faster to make my stumbling fingers feel like they're in control. Like, see what I mean? Yeah, it's backwards. Okay. Um, so anywho, 36 it is again. And I'm going to try to get rid of that little brain fart about the B. There we go. Okay, what am I doing? Oh, I'm going to a uh, D. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm trying to put my fingers down to get ready, like on the A and the G sharp and the A, and then I'm accidentally putting down all of these fingers to without going to the B. So I get a D instead. Eh. All right. <laughs> Oh, I did it again. And I'm thinking about the tempo. I'm thinking about too many things. but I didn't get my fingers in place and I want to train my fingers to do that, so. Okay, that was so sloppy, but at least my fingers were there. I beat the metronome. too many things. I'm kind of, I'm worrying too much about my fingers and worrying too much about staying with the metronome. Um, 36 is a really slow speed to be able to feel. Um, so I'm going to double that. So it's doing eighth notes instead of quarter notes. So 60 plus 12, 72. Okay. So exactly the same speed, but now I can actually hear it and stay hopefully a little more steady. Yeah, I'll think so hard. I still wasn't steady, but at least 
I didn't have to think so hard and that freed up some brain capacity to work on my fingers. Um, so that's something that's really important to realize when you're practicing. If you're doing too many things that are difficult, then you're not going to succeed at any of them. So you need to simplify in one thing. So like if my goal for today was to play steady 16th notes at a slow quarter note metronome marking, then I would throw the notes out the window and just do it all on one note or two notes or a scale that's really easy. Um, but my goal today is to get fingers. And so if I spend too much of my brain power worrying about the metronome, then I'm not going to meet my goal with fingers. So, um, so if I simplify the one that is not my goal, then I get to work more toward the one that is my goal. And eventually, you know, you get better at both things and then you can do both at once because you don't have to spend so much, you know, brain power thinking about both things. You've kind of freed up some space. Okay. Um, I think this is just worth doing again. <laughs> starting to get my my right hand prep um, a little more um, without thinking about it so much so that is good all right um, I'm gonna do it one more time just to make sure that that wasn't you know a flub <laughs> um. metronome right about where it is um, but now I'll go twice as fast because that's where I was on the other one let's see what happens stick 
<laughs> what I did last time. Um, but it was still better than when I started last time, so that's, that's the good news there. Anyway, that was it. So, clarinet. Day five. Thanks for watching.